This video shows how to fix your HP printer when it stops feeding pages during printing and a paper gem error message displays on the printer's control panel or on your computer. First, turn the printer off and on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Once the printer is off, wait 60 seconds. It is important to wait the full 60 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Then, press the power button to turn the printer back on. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Raise the output tray. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, tap the right arrow and then select Setup. Tap the down arrow and then select Reports. From the Reports menu, select Printer Status Report. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. In this step, we will make sure the printer is operating on a flat, level surface. If the printer is tilted because it is sitting on an uneven surface, printer errors could occur. When you have completed your inspection of the printing surface and the printer is on a flat, level, and hard surface, raise the output tray. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, tap the right arrow and then select Setup. Tap the down arrow and then select Reports. From the Reports menu, select Printer Status Report. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, Go on to the next step. In this step, you will check for any obstructions in the carriage path. The printer must be on for these steps to work. Do not remove jammed paper at this time. Raise the output tray. Remove any loose paper from the input tray. Lower the output tray. Open the carriage access door. Open the cartridge access door on the front of the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Without turning the printer off, remove the power cord from the printer. If present, remove the USB cable from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Return to the front of the printer. Check the cartridge access area for jammed paper. If possible, Grasp any jammed paper with both hands and then gently and evenly pull it toward you to remove it. Reach into the cartridge access area and manually move the carriage to the left. Using a flashlight, thoroughly search the right side of the carriage path to find all small scraps of paper. Remove any jammed paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Close the cartridge access door. Close the carriage access door. Turn to the back. Remove the duplexer. To do this, push in the tabs on both sides of the duplexer and then pull it straight out from the printer. Check the back of the printer for jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. Check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. 
Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the back of the printer to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Now let's check inside the duplexer for any jams. Press the two tabs on both sides of the back of the duplexer to open it. Remove any jammed paper from inside the duplexer. Once all the paper has been removed, close the duplexer until the tabs on both sides of the duplexer snap into place. Reattach the duplexer. To do this, gently push the duplexer into the back of the printer until it snaps into place. Reconnect the power cord. Reconnect the power cord to its power source. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Raise the output tray. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, tap the right arrow and then select Setup. Tap the down arrow and then select Reports. From the Reports menu, select Printer Status Report. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, Reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following step to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must be on for this step to work. Open the carriage access door. The carriage might try to move into the access area. If it does, allow it to move to that position. Open the cartridge access door on the front of the printer. Turn to the back. While the power is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Return to the front. Look inside the printer and check for obstructions around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area. Remove any obstructions that are found. Check the rollers and wheels for any torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Reach into the cartridge access area and manually move the carriage. Move the carriage to the left side. Using a flashlight, check the right side of the carriage path for obstructions. Remove any obstructions that are found. Then, move the carriage to the right side and check the left side of the carriage path for obstructions. Remove any obstructions that are found. Once all obstructions are removed and the carriage can move the full width of the carriage path, close the cartridge access door. Close the carriage access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord into the printer. Reconnect the other end of the power cord into its power source. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, tap the right arrow and then select Setup. Tap the down arrow and then select Reports. From the Reports menu, select Printer Status Report. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from dust, paper fiber, and other debris. In this step, you will clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean lint-free cloth. Clean cotton swabs. Clean water. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. 
Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord. If present, remove the USB cable from the printer. Remove the duplexer. To do this, push the tabs on both sides of the duplexer and then pull it straight out from the printer. Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth, lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp, but not soaking wet. Wipe each roller starting on the right side of the roller and wiping to the left. Use your finger to turn the roller up as you finish cleaning a section of the roller. Make sure that you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the rollers. Wait for the rollers to dry completely. While the duplexer is off the printer, check the hard plastic rollers. Note if any rollers are missing, don't roll freely, or are not springy when you push on them. These conditions could prevent rollers from feeding properly and mean that the duplexer needs to be replaced. Reattach the duplexer. To do this, gently push the duplexer into the back of the printer. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, tap the right arrow and then select Setup. Tap the down arrow and then select Reports. From the Reports menu, select Printer Status Report. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, Reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes the problem can be fixed by resetting the printer. The printer must be on for this step to work. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds for this type of reset. Reconnect the power cord to its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not turn on automatically, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, tap the right arrow and then select Setup. Tap the down arrow and then select Reports. From the Reports menu, select Printer Status Report. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Your options for service will vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in. Contact HP to find out the support options available for your printer. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash hp printer support.